Hi guys, so I'm here trying not to freak out, but it's not really working very well. I went online and I printed off like a wedding planning checklist. If you guys don't know already, I already have a checklist that I'm doing every single month that I'm getting done, just so it doesn't become too overwhelming. But lately it's been overwhelming. Um, there's just like a lot of factors and things that I feel like I don't have enough time doing and I'm starting to get stressed out and I feel like I'm bothering everyone, asking them questions about my wedding, like what do you think about this, what do you think about that, blah blah blah, blah. and I feel like everybody's sick of hearing me complain about my wedding, but at the same time I'm genuinely like losing my mind over this stuff. I just wish someone could just like take this off my plate or... I don't know, I feel like I'm running out of time too. That's what it feels like, but I know I still have four months. It's not too bad, I still have some time. I was telling Nancy on the side of TikTok where there's a lot of wedding planning and there's a lot of brides that are telling you what they've regretted or what they wish they would have had instead. And I just don't want to have any regrets, even though I know I'm going to, regardless of what I do, like I could take every precaution there is and something still will go wrong. I just, I don't know, it's getting into my head and then I keep seeing all these brides do these like extravagant or like cool ideas that I would love to do when at the beginning I told myself I wouldn't do. Trying to like keep myself humbled and trying to keep myself not humbled but like grounded on the things that I wanted at the beginning and now like there's like more things that I want that I know that I do not have the budget for. I really give props to the brides that literally plan their weddings by themselves and it turned out absolutely stunning. Like that's insane to me because I totally understand why now people get wedding planners because those people just literally take care of everything and they think of things that you don't even think of and I'm just scared of because I have all the big things right like like here on this paper I have a venue I have a photographer I have the food I have the makeup artist I have the wedding dress I have you know like I have all the big things right it's just the little things that I'm worried for I've also looked into seeing if I could tour the place again and I have but the only hard part is they're only allowing tours I think Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and I work all those days, which is a little bit difficult. So either I'd have to go early in the morning, or I'd have to go, or I'd have to leave work a little bit early and go see. Another thing is like I really want my sisters, and we all go and look and plan where we want things, and we can have all these kind of questions. And it's just eating me alive because I'm such a Type A person that I have to know like ahead of time so I can prepare because. These little things that I'm doing is is fine, you know, like these are the things that I'm needing to get done regardless. But still, I need to know all everything, deep dive into everything, what they allow, what they don't, what they provide, what they what, what will I have to provide. So I'm really just like spiraling in a black hole, which we love that. We love when we do that. So, yeah, so now I'm just sitting here and writing down all the things that I need that's left over this week which for you guys will be last week and the whole month of July is gonna be kind of crazy because we have a whole bunch of family coming down to visit and then we also have 4th of July which I don't have anything planned for 4th of July thankfully so it's not too bad let me see if I can get better lighting over here so we have family coming down and they're gonna be here for like the weekend and then plus like a couple extra days and then after that that this week which this video is coming out will be 4th of july which i don't have anything planned oh i also forgot to mention that i also have engagement photos this uh week and the hard part is i mean i have a day off which is great but we're taking photos in this one park it's like behind the salt lake zoo and it's super gorgeous there's like i think there's like a waterfront and stuff like that but i'm not sure it's an hour and a half drive from here and she said the only available time she had was in the morning and i was like oh perfect like we can just hit it get out of the way you know and then i can come home and get ready and cook for everybody yada yada and she's like okay cool like yeah i'll see you guys at six in the morning oh, wait what six in the morning i was like oh my gosh i'm so gonna be exhausted because you think i have to get up at like three to get ready do my hair get dressed get chang up to get ready and get dressed and then we have to drive an hour and a half there to be there at 6 a.m because she said that's like the time with the best lighting and everything so which i understand because that's what i want so excited for that um we're gonna be up all day that day but maybe we come back after the photo shoot and take a nap and then run errands because that's also the day that we're going to be you know groceries and up and doing all this stuff anyways so fourth of july 
don't have anything planned. I know I'm working for the July, so all my sisters are gonna go to Fillmore and celebrate down there. So it'll just be me and Chang and Reggie. So I'll probably just drive somewhere where they're doing fireworks and watch as like a little family. The weekend after that, we has we have another engagement photos because I don't know if I told you guys already. I told the podcast on the last episode. For my sign-in books, I'm not gonna do the sign-in book because I do. I, well, what I was thinking was I was gonna do like a little picture board and then people could just like sign on it And then we could just hang it in the house because so I've been looking and searching for ideas of what to do And finally on TikTok, there was a video of a girl who for her sign-in book She did like postcards and I thought that was a really cute idea. They had like the postcard stands I want a lot of photos like I want a lot of memories of me and Chang and sometimes I feel like with all the photos that we're taking We won't be able to like oh we, like put them up there's gonna be so many photos that I love from either like the engagement photos to the bridals I just want to be able to show them off and be able to go back and look at them physically That'd be so cute to do the postcards print out a whole bunch of photos my favorite photos from the engagements and the bridals I'm all over with the postcards and have people pick their favorite photo and on the back It'll just be like leave a little message for the groom and the bride and they could just leave their messages there And then I already bought I already purchased a little mailbox which I'm so excited to come in I can't wait for you guys to see it too so that's the plan. So that's why we're taking so many engagement photos, okay? I feel like Chang and I should really enjoy our engagement era right now. I want a lot of photos of us before we actually start our new chapter in our lives because we are technically married like traditionally for this i feel like it would just seal the deal like just like seal the envelope and that that's it like us planning to get married and all of this will finally be over and we can actually focus on um our life life <laughs> where you know we have kids or we have like other big plans big trips that we want to go to because honestly this wedding is like draining me because i'm so used to like planning stuff to do for like the summer and stuff like that or like going on vacations but obviously this year we cannot do that because we have the wedding and also work has been a little bit hectic i think we have two engagement photos that we're gonna take and then we also have a bridal but i want to take i also want to do another photo session but maybe from like a starting new photographer and we could wear our traditional mom clothing so i can have that as well because i had some other ideas too that i wanted to do but it's just Nah, it's too much. Like, I think it's too much. Like, maybe we could do this a different time. I also want to do a photo shoot with my doggos because he's my doggo. So, I don't know if you guys have seen these, like, photos with, like, a boat, like a rowboat. It's just as hard because nowhere in Utah is like that. Well, that I know of. I would love to do that. I'll show you some inspo, like, around here on the screen. But I would love to do that. It's like an enchanted forest or... You know, something like that. So cute. I love it. I would love to do that. And there's another one where I, where I would love, like, we're, like, in a movie or something. And we're just, like, chasing each other and, you know, just being in love and having fun and stuff like that. Like, I would love to have those photos, too. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see because that's a lot of photos, too. And I'm like, Crystal, you're not going to have that many people on your wedding. Like, maybe half of these photos won't even, like, get signed and put in. But that's okay, too. Because what I'm planning to do is because I think this is more of my vibe where I love scrapbooking and I love like photo albums because I grew up looking at my mom's scrapbooks and her photo albums. Afterwards, when the wedding's over, everybody signs little postcards and stuff. I'm gonna take them out of a little post office box and I'm gonna put them in a photo album and where like when the pages are clear on both sides and I'll just put one photo in and we'll be able to see our pictures and then on the other side will be a sweet message from some a family member that we love and then I think the week after that is chill we don't have anything planned but then the week after that we're going to Chicago we're excited for that we're gonna go see IU go to the concert oh and I was also I was also thinking we go take photos in Chicago like it would just be beautiful like have, I don't know if you guys have seen Chicago and what it looks like but it's like city on water. I'll show you guys more pictures right here. I was thinking we could take photos there too, but then I'm like, God, photographers are so expensive. But I don't know, we'll see when the time comes. We'll see what the budget is. I just want you guys to know a little bit how I am during this wedding planning stuff. It's honestly for me, um, I, also, I have a playlist on YouTube for like my wedding diaries. And it's just for me to kind of know where I was during this time. But I am really excited to do this to get it done because I think the real excitement is to get it over with <laughs> and then we'll be able to enjoy our time but yeah hopefully in the next clip i'll be able to show you the mailbox but if not then i'll see you in a little bit